Ой. Машина. Hello there guys, welcome to Survival Russia, welcome back to the channel. We're speaking a little bit low here because uh, we are on a super cool location today. We are with uh, two Russian bloggers. We have uh, Den here, Dennis. Hello everybody. <laughs> and uh, Ilya, he's already Hello. on the other side of the fence. We have to crawl this fence. This is like the Russian hub, right? So that's where we're heading now. We have some uh, security guards down there somewhere. You can see we have a big, uh, big, big tower there, and we have some funky coils and stuff over there. So let's go and see what's gonna happen. Lars going to inside. <laughs> Hope. Security over there. This is gonna be super cool. We have a cemetery in there. Here we have some spare parts. Big guy, quite a big guy. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Okay guys, so before we get too far into this here, this is of course not the Russian harp. This is not a weather modification system. But we do have security here, <laughs> down there. The reason I most likely have called it the weather modification system or the Russian harp in the title is that I actually found this location on two articles where it was written that this was the Russian harp. Which uh, I of course know it is not. Nonetheless, this is a super cool location. Actually, it's a location um, where testing have been done, or have been done on uh, aeroplanes, helicopters, and all that funky stuff, you know, with uh, lightning testing, light lightning testing, so to speak. It's partly working today as well, actually. So you can actually rent this place here for your own testing if you want to. It's just a little bit of expensive, of course. This is the control center, so to speak. It's, of course, a Soviet installation and it's old and all this good stuff, but it works. Here we have some transformers and stuff. And up there we have one of the, the coil systems, so to speak. People generally just call them Tesla coil, the Tesla coil place, so to speak. But it's, of course, not a Tesla coil. I don't know if you get an impression of the size of this. It's actually pretty darn big. Pretty darn big. This is super cool. So here we have a little underground corridor. Wires are running over to this transformer station and into this control building, of course. And they come out here. There's some pretty heavy duty wires, I can tell you. They're like a good one inch thick. You can see Denise is standing in there with Ilya. I mean, this is not small stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's 
красиво. Ты, наверное, поймешь. Ага. Да-да-да, DVR, VDR. We have a plate, комбинат. Керамische Werke, Helmstorf, DDR, Baujahr 1987, it looks like, 1.2 tons. That guy over there is huge. Looks like you can walk up there. We have some stuff standing there, whatever it is. Some components. We have old concrete tiles here everywhere. Yet another Tesla coil that's just called like that over there. Then we have some modern stuff, and the security should be over there somewhere. That's why we are not talking too loud and all that good stuff. Ah, there we have the guys. Ilya there, he has a radio with him so he can, uh, he can uh, listen in on the security's uh, communications if there should be any. Pretty cool. <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty routine guys. That's what they do. Exploring abandoned and semi-abandoned places. Denise was here like one, four years ago, and Ilya been here one year ago. He don't know if they have dogs here still. They had last time. <laughs> so could get potentially very interesting. I think they have a plan on moving somewhere else. Well, I'm not really sure what the guys are up to. Then he says that we will now move around on the perimeter here. Not to make a, too much an announcement of ourselves and then uh, see what's gonna happen. This tower there is connected to the big tower over there and we have the, the lightning strike phase in the center. We'll take a look at that, of course, but now I better catch up with the guys. So we ended over there, that's where the cemetery is. And we have these huge coils over there, the tower there, security is somewhere over there, and another installation over there. We're pretty close to the perimeter fence. Do you have a gift for me? For microphones. Ah, ah, oh, круто. Как? 3D printer. 3D printer. Ой, круто, спасибо. Hey, he just made, gave me this 3D printed uh, weather protection guy. That is awesome. Это очень удобно. Да, да, да. Ага. Now we will we will make measure. Radiation. Uh -huh. Denise has his dosimeter, dosimeter, his uh, Geiger counter kind of. He used in some of his cool videos. Counter of Giger. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, this doesn't look like it's not in a working condition. Was this guy is broken? Porcelain insulator, heavy. Look at the Geiger counter there, a dosimeter. Oh, show for Norma. Show normal, no? Norma. 21. Norma the 3, is it? No, 3. 3. Norma is 30, and not more. 
16. So we are safe here. So we'll try and work our way over to the tower over there and uh, look at the spot where all the lightning strikes are occurring whenever this uh, location is in use. Just seen it. Three guys out there heading over to the to the tower there. But Ilya is out there now. Mm -hmm. Scouting for the for the security. Oh. Ilya says there's no, nobody out there. So let's go. Armatura. <laughs> That cable runs over to the tower and out there in the center we have the the ground zero. There's a lot of scrap metal here. <laughs> That's for sure. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, there we have ground zero. Been over there. That's where we have all the lightning strikes going on. So far, we're not gonna have any lightning strikes right now. It's a huge pool of some sort in there. I think we also had a lightning strike area here actually. You look. Keep up with the guys, because <laughs> they've been here before, and I have not. There's spotlights up on the roof there. The Plasinia. We better get out of here. Gotta look at you know, where the lightning strikes are occurring, when they are occurring. Stone isolator. Ah, this whole platform is standing on insulators, as you can see. Hopefully. So right there, that's where the lightning strike goes down on the platform. Denise says, go out and, uh, and record the, the shark, the, the ball out there. <laughs> that's right. This HLO Obama. <laughs> what the hell is this written Obama here for? Ah, it's Russians. I think they want us to write Hello Obama. Very old. That's where the lightning strikes, right here. <coughs> As I said, they used to test uh, air airplane fuselages and all sorts of stuff here, helicopters and whatnot. 
super cool. Ich habe schon Buch dabei, ich habe dabei nicht, ich habe eine Gabko. So cold there. Cars out there now. We have managed to. to, to. <laughs> to the side, but it was very close, <clears throat> and uh, that car was uh, perfectly fit for housing one or two dogs. As Ilya said <clears throat> last time he was here, there were two dogs. We don't need that kind of dogs around here now. guys so that's it for the little adventure here with uh, Denise and Ilya I hope you liked the video and uh, I hope you will check the links in the description to Denise channel then stalk and to Ilya's channel as well Ilya doesn't have that many subscribers and uh, Denise he needs to go just above the hundred thousand uh, to reach the hundred thousand so yeah guys that's it for today check the links in the description and uh, until next time get out and swing get it done do something awesome I'll do something awesome and uh, get back home in a few days time. See you guys.